first of all, congratulations to get to the postseason. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, the numbers, the power numbers, are a lot different than they were the last time you played baseball full-time in 2019, uh, doubled on, up on the home runs. What was the difference with the power surge this year? Yeah, I think just confidence, obviously, was very important. Uh, anytime you're in the lineup every day and know you, the coaches have a lot of confidence in you, that helps. But uh, in terms of, you know, swinging and stuff, I, I just tried to – you know, I had a much bigger swing, a lot more going on, so I just tried to shorten it up while keeping the same power, and it's been working out. So just whatever works that day, I try to use it, and if it doesn't work the next day, we'll find something different. So just trying to be adjustable and any way I can help the team win, and that's just what I'm trying to do. Patrick, uh, you know, I kind of rather it's a great article in the Sun paper, I think back in May, talking about how you actually signed with Pittsburgh and then you, you kind of went back to college because you thought you weren't ready uh, to actually play professional baseball. Uh, it was, that a, it, was it more mental than physical? And in, in that kind of line of thinking, what's the difference between, say, when you were 18 and you were playing in the minor leagues with Pittsburgh and now when you look at maybe the mental and physical of, of Patrick Dorian at, at age 25. Yeah, uh, definitely the mental side was, you know, the, the biggest part of it. Uh, just there's, there's a lot more than just the game that goes into it. You know what I mean? There's off the field stuff. It, you know, there's all these different times, uh, types of stresses and stuff like that. And I just thought me at an older age, it'd be easier to, you know, deal with these things and feel much more confident on a daily basis than I would when I was 17, 18 years old. So just a learning experience, a growing experience. And, uh, you know, I'm back here now and I couldn't be happier. So take us inside of the clubhouse of the Bowie Bay Sox. We know all of you guys are trying to get to the bigs, but uh, what's, what's the atmosphere and the personality of that clubhouse? Well, it's a special group, man. That's anytime I talk to anyone, it's just, it's next man up. You know what I mean? If someone goes down, if someone's not having a great day that day, the guy next will pick them up. You know what I mean? It's, it's everyone's rooting for each other. The vibes are always really good in the dugout and the clubhouse on the field at all times. So we're just having a really good time. Uh, no matter who's been here, we've had a lot of different groups go up and down to AAA and things like that. So guys come in, they fit right in. And, you know, we've just been rolling, especially here late. So hopefully we can continue that this week. Uh, Patrick, uh, Rob talked about the power numbers, but as a former pitcher, one of the more annoying things was, and I look at your on base percentage, whether you started the minors and you know, even now in double A, uh, one of the more annoying things is when uh, a hitter will not swing at balls. You really have a high on base percentage. I think you led the Eastern League in walks and whatever. Is it, was that an acquired skill or is that something that they uh, kind of preached down at, uh, at Bowie? Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they don't preach go out there looking for walks, but what we do preach is, you know, if we're going to take swings, make sure it's middle of the zone on a pitch we can do damage on. You know, those borderline pitches on the, the corners, on the outside corner, inside, up, down, might be a better idea. You know, if you're in a 2-0 count, a 3-1 count, take that pitch, right? Give yourself another chance. Umpire maybe is going to call that a ball, and you get a guy on base. And a lot of our rallies start that way. Is We actually joke about it all the time. It's like someone leads off with a walk. It's like, oh, here comes a rally because we it's just happened so many times. So it's been, you know, even in BP, we put the medicine ball behind home plate for our strike zone, and it, it, it just translates into the games. You know what I mean? Not just me, for so many guys. It, our pregame work really, you know, reflects how our games go and it's been huge just the consistency every day the medicine ball behind the plate knowing the strike zone learning the strike zone learning the umpires what are they going to call things like that and just like i said it's it's worked out great and hopefully this week we can just keep doing the same thing now i know you're busy down at Bowie, but another clutch hit for you a home run on sunday but how much do you watch what's going on up in the bigs uh, uh with the orioles knowing that this is the place that you want to play yeah i mean Obviously, we're worried about what we're doing down here, but at the end of the day, that's where we want to be. So, uh, you know, it's obviously hasn't been the, the strongest year, but, you know, they've they've won a couple games here recently. So, uh, you know, hopefully they can keep winning ball games to end the season and take it in the next year on a high note. You know what I mean? So anytime you can win ball games, it's a good thing. So we're just trying to do whatever we can down here and hopefully make our way up and help it up there. Of course, that's the clutch home run we just saw from Sunday. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm, I'll leave you with my, my last question because, I, I again, in that article it talked about, you know, we asked Drew Rahm yesterday what he did during the pandemic, got bigger, worked with some guys. You hit with a guy named, what, Zach Short? Uh, and, you know, yeah. we talked about how helpful that was. He actually played in the big leagues this year with the Tigers. So have, how's this conversation been going with between the two of you? 
Well, he's, he's actually been one of my best friends for a long time. We grew up together playing football, basketball, baseball, all these different sports. We're in the off season. We're just, we do everything together. We, you know, bounce hitting information off each other, see what works for him, see what works for me. And it's just great. We have so much fun with it. We're in there for, in our hitting facility for hours and hours and hours, uh, just millions of swings, trying different things, seeing what works on the high pitch, the low pitch down and away, just different things like that. And just trying to find ways to get better. Uh, just like we do out here before games, you know, we do a lot of the same kind of things back home. So just finding that routine and me and him, you know, we enjoy each other's company and we just, we have a lot of fun with it. So. Patrick Dorian, thank you very much and good luck to you tonight and in this entire series. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys having me on.